Hello, this is Scotty McCoy. I am the author of the Ultimate Friday the 13th trivia book, and I am about to be doing another book titled The Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia, and I am interviewing the cast from the Friday the 13th franchise, and currently I have Tiffany Helm, who played Violet in Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. Hi, Tiffany. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Scotty? I'm doing great. Doing great. Excellent. So the first question I have is, uh, what was your audition like for Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning? Um, the audition was, the breakdown went out, they were looking for a Pat Benatar type character. Because at the time, that was really all Hollywood saw as um, punk rock. And we all know that Pat Benatar was not punk rock, <laughs> but she had that like Love is a Battlefield video, and... It, like that—that that was Hollywood's perception of what the alternative scene was about. Oh. So that's how the breakdown went out. Um, and I was a little bit overweight at the time, and I had, you know, I was always doing my hair different colors and stuff. Um, my agent. So those were so like the fringy roles were there weren't a whole lot of them. And even though I didn't physically, they wanted a hard body Pat Benatar type, is what they were specifically asking, because in the death scene she was supposed to be doing aerobics. Um, but my agent sent me in, and, uh, you know, whatever it was, the look, or the, I think that I, I mean, I was authentic, right? Yeah. And that's actually, I booked a few jobs that way because I was authentic. And they would see me and they're like, Whoa, <laughs> you know, that's like, that's the real deal. So um, I think that was it. I mean, I don't remember the specifics about the reading, but it was, uh, it was called The Repetition at the time. It wasn't a Friday the 13th, uh, just a low budget slasher movie, and they wanted this hard body Pat Benatar person. And I was not that, but right. you know, sometimes it works for you. Everyone remembers Violet for her robot dance to the song In Her Eyes. What inspired that scene? Because I personally love that song, as I thought it was a great film, and it symbolized, like, Jason. So, like, and also, like, who's, who was the idea, was it, to use that song? Um, well, the original, and I, I don't know how much information you have about, because, I mean, I've, I've told the story several times, so I guess it's pretty common knowledge. But um, the original scene was I was that, you know, hard body Pat Benatar person mm -hmm. playing, um, you know, little scissor thing, scissors with my legs in my room doing exercises. And he comes in and splits me up the middle with his machete. Right. And when makeup did up the aftermath of that scene, um, they were like, yeah, it's not going to get past the censors. Okay, that looks really, really gnarly. So we need to rewrite the scene. Right. And so they're like, okay, so maybe you're dancing in your room. I'm like, okay. So they started like, you know, we're kind of we're kind of blocking the scene and seeing how it was going to work. And I'm like, I did like this, what I thought they wanted, this kind of weird white girl dance where I'm just like, you know, very not coordinated, and that's not what I was doing in clubs. What I was doing in clubs was that weird, um, well, I heard a guy at one of the horror club cons call it, like, synth pop, okay. uh, synth pop robot, where it's not really robot, it's not really pop locking. It was more, um, it was more like what the new wave into the goth kids were doing. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so first I tried the, and you can even see it in the beginning of the scene where I'm kind of just like swaying, and I wasn't very really comfortable doing that. So I don't even know how it came about, but I was like, this is this is what we're doing in clubs, and they loved it. They're like, yeah, go for it. Um, and the songs, I mean, I, I always was listening to music, and most of the music that I was listening to, they wouldn't be able to get the rights to. But that, but that His Eyes song from Pseudo Echo, you know, they were this obscure Australian band, and they loved the song and got the rights to it. But right. it's, that, I mean, that was my music, that was my dance, I decorated most of my room, I actually wanted to die against the picture of Sid Vicious. <laughs> the wrestler, right? What? The wrestler? Sid Vicious? Yeah. 
Yeah. The wrestler. There's a wrestler named no. Sid Vicious. I I can't remember what the picture looked like. It's back to the no, oh, it's okay. Sid Vicious. I'm trying. You're a young boy. Yep. Sid Vicious. Uh, okay. Sid, who uh, died of a heroin overdose oh. many years ago. Movie Sid and Nancy. It's about his life. Okay. I thought it'd be poetic to die against Sid Vicious, but they said that I couldn't because of his estate. Okay. So. Other than that, I basically had free reign on that set. I right. could pretty much do what I wanted, and they just made one. To hear the rest of my interview with Tiffany Helm, who played Violet in Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning, you can order my book, The Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia. To find out when The Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia is for sale, you can like my fan page on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash smccoyauthor.